There's no doubt hockey is number one in Montreal, but when it comes to sporting venues, it's hard to beat Molson Stadium. Throughout this past winter and spring, the stadium on the south face of Mount Royal has been undergoing a $30 million expansion. Last winter's mild weather helped. The expansion project has come in on time and on budget. Overall, 5,000 seats have been added, including 3,800 on the south side of the stadium. There are still some finishing touches to be done, but the stadium is ready to go for Saturday's exhibition game against the Toronto Argonauts and the official home opener, July 22nd, against the Hamilton Tiger Cats. The most notable change is this new upper deck. It has its own new concourse behind it with its own new concessions and washrooms. The other area of the stadium that has changed is on the eastern flank of the north side, where a new section of seats has been added, and in the east end zone where new permanent seats have been installed. With 25,000 seats now, Molson Stadium will retain its characteristic intimacy, so popular with local fans. The original Molson Stadium was built in 1919. Its official name is Percival Molson Memorial Stadium, in honor of Percival Molson, a member of the Molson Brewing family, who died in France during the First World War. But in its long history, only one Grey Cup has been played there. This was in 1931. The Cup winners that year were the Montreal Amateur Athletic Association's Montreal Winged Wheelers. By the 1940s, Molson Stadium had become a familiar fixture on Mount Royal. It was a smaller stadium then. There were only 9,000 seats. But that changed in 1950, when an expansion project created new seating on the south side. The Alouettes as a franchise were founded in 1946. They played their first eight seasons at Old Delorier Stadium in the East End and didn't move into Molson Stadium until 1954. It was in Molson Stadium that Sam Echeverry thrilled fans during the 1950s. Later, in the 1960s, George Dixon was the fan favorite. They moved out of Molson Stadium in 1968 to the old Autostad, which was built near the Victoria Bridge for Expo 67. 1976 was Olympic year in Montreal, and after the summer games ended, the Owls moved into the new East End Stadium. Fans filled the Big O to capacity in the late 1970s to see such players as Sonny Wade and Peter Dallariva, and Gordon Judges and Junior Ayu. But the 1980s were a different story. The Owls folded in 1981 and were replaced by the Montreal Concords. In 1986, the club took back its old Alouette name, but by then, fans had lost interest. In 87, the Owls folded once again. They returned in 1996, this time when owner Jim Spiros moves to Montreal after the failure of the Canadian Football League's American expansion. Crowds were thin through the 1996 and 1997 seasons at the Big O, until something remarkable happened. A scheduling conflict at the Big O involving the Irish rock band U2 left the Alouettes with nowhere to play a playoff game against the BC Lions. Faced with few options, the club returned to Molson Stadium. But the stadium was in terrible shape. Symbolic of the state of disrepair was a tree that had started to grow up through the seats on the north side of the stadium. Workers had to drill temporary plywood bench seating into the concrete bleachers for that first homecoming game. But fans loved it. They packed the stadium that day, and ever since then, the Owls have made home Olsen Stadium their home. In 2003, old sections of stadium concrete were removed and replaced by new ones. And a new kind of artificial turf, called field turf, was also installed. Today, the Alouettes are heading into the 2010 season with 95 consecutive sellouts at Molson Stadium under their belts. With 5,000 new seats in place, and with the Alouettes defending Grey Cup champions, the old stadium on the south face of Mount Royal has never looked better.